When Tia asked me to go to Houston to pick up this dog, I immediately said yes. I was looking forward to meeting the women who run Mission Canine Rescue because I have so much respect for what they do. Look at everybody petting the dogs. They're so happy. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Lizzie. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. This is so beautiful. Oh, thank I'm you. Louisa. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Chris Maurer, and I'm president and founder of Mission Canine Rescue. So welcome. I know we did some stuff with yes. you guys yeah. before, but yeah. I'm so excited to hear oh, yeah. more about this. We were so excited to be oh, able to come here. We're glad you you're guys, came. yeah, we're so grateful. We have a facility just outside of Houston, and that's where we house our retired working dogs while we rehab them and get them ready to go into a home. When you meet them, you're gonna fall in love. We've, we're already madly in love. Know. We've known him what three hours. <laughs> you know? so oh yeah, he just got here. Yeah. Yeah. Just he landed. Just here. Oh yeah. my gosh. So just landed. But here's little marbles. Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's already happy. <laughs> oh. Let me get a stuff. Yeah. Heidi is so cute. I can't stand it. I know, honestly. <laughs> Any precious? When Heidi and I walked up, we were like, oh my god, oh my god, look at this little adorable pit bull. And you could just tell by looking at him and his body language, just how sweet and adorable he was. How old is it? He's, he's young. young. Yeah, he's yeah. young. He's he like looks a year puppy. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's young. Well, the, on his pet passport, it says October of, of uh, 18. I mean, he was just smaller than we expected. He's really young. I mean, just looking at him, I was like, oh, he's like a puppy. He's like eight months old. You see where his ears were cut? Yeah. I know you've seen this, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 It was a rude awakening for me walking through Friday Market. It's unbelievable. You'll see dogs just running all over. They're actually, there's this dumping ground of carcasses. And Next they to just, Friday Market. Yeah, they just, right, they just throw them over the wall. They have these puppies and they have them all in these small cages out in the blazing hot sun with diarrhea and no water. And they're just sitting and baking in the sun. And to this day, I can't even, I can't, I can't. Honestly, it was it was it was horrible. I had this moment of just shock, and there's like a sense of defeat, and you lose hope in the world when you know how widespread the abuse is. It kind of makes you feel like you're not getting anywhere. We're so consumed with the abuse that you don't realize that like. Sorry if I'm getting emotional, but just to <laughs> no. think that like you know. You think you're like making a difference in this one area and there's like a whole other country. Mm -hmm. And Come to think that, you know, what could have happened to him and there's dog fighting everywhere. everywhere. Marbles definitely was gonna be used for fighting. Basically this dog had no chance over there for a happy ending. And just to think about this sweet little guy being mistreated is, it's devastating. It's absolutely devastating. And I'm just so, so grateful that Chris and Louisa do what they do over there and that the woman that found him knew to call them and knew that they could help. You're gonna love him. I know. I know, I love you? him so much. All the dogs are like, oh. I love it. I'm so excited. Now we're gonna see Marbles go into an amazing home and that's the biggest win of all. And that's why we do what we do. Come it's on, okay, big guy. I know, Aww. buddy. He's like, but I just got out of a crate. I know. Aww. It's so sad. As soon as we loaded him up, I just thought, you're going on to bigger and better things. Your life has just begun. Yes, we love you. Find you home. I love you, buddy. Tia and Villalobos Rescue made this an easy transition and allowed me to sleep comfortably knowing that when he arrives, he's going into the best hands possible. And tell Tia thank you too. So Absolutely. I'm really, really grateful. After everything he's been through, I'm really excited for Tia to meet Marbles. I think that she's gonna think that he's just as great as we do. Bye, Marbles. Come on. Hi. This is Marbles. Hi. Hi, little puppy. Hi, little puppy. You're so tiny. He's really sweet. You're so tiny. He's just come from a absolutely horrific situation. Traveled countless hours on a plane, you know, across the world. And look at the way he's acting. Like, hey, my name's Marbles. What's your name? I'm like, what's up with this little dog? He's very puppy looking and acting. I heard you're really sweet. He is very sweet. OK. His personality was so adorable. And that's how I knew right then and there, I said, you know what, this is a good one. Because you know what, I wouldn't be acting like that if I had just gone through all that. I, I couldn't act that happy. He's been a dream, he's good in the hotel. 
Never been on a bed before, but oh, once he was yeah. put on it, he didn't get off. Thank you. <laughs> well, buddy, welcome to the US. Yes, <laughs> we'll try to make your life better. Mm -hmm. We're so consumed with what's going on here, you almost like shut off like other parts of the world. Sure, and yeah. It's I know. like an eye opener. I know those pictures were horrific, like horrific. You wanna walk around? <laughs> oh, not scared of the water. Oh my gosh, look at him. <laughs> and then to see him just like all of a sudden just like go into the pond. You know, you're thinking, what, what a, just an outgoing personality, just super carefree. Come on, buddy, come on, bud. He's like, no, no, come on. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna get him out. Marbles. <laughs> he wants to stay in there. Come on, baby. Come here. There you go. In thinking about where he's come from, what he's been through, we decided to let him stay out here in the country at Assumption Parish, where it's just quieter, um, just has more room, just, just to be a dog and, and have a, a more peaceful environment. The main thing is I want to see how, how he is with kids. Yes, yeah, so we definitely don't know what happened to him and dogs. So yeah. Hopefully boop, 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 boop. they never got a chance to actually fight him. Yeah. So next for Marbles is putting him through different things like temperament testing him, dog testing, kid testing, all that, and then trying to find him a great home. We got a lot of hope for, uh, for a little Marbles from Kuwait. Come on. All right, come on, Get buddy. Today we decided that we wanted to bring Marbles out and do a little bit more temperament testing with him and see how he would be around kids. Come here, look. Hi. Good boy. Hi. Yeah? Good boy! <laughs> Good boy! Here, Luke, walk up. Just pet him. Hi! Hi! You okay? Marbles just has a really sweet demeanor about him. Oh, did you give him kisses? <laughs> you know, the whole, the whole body language thing just oozed with, hey, a new friend. Um, so we felt really comfortable at that point. Let's see what he does when he runs by. Hold on to him. So then we decided to bump it up a notch. I think he wants to jump. Yeah. But it's not the negative. I just want to make sure he isn't going to chase him. Yeah. And we wanted to simulate how it would be if Marbles was in a backyard with kids, and the kids were doing what kids do, and that's racing around the yard. Luke, run by, run by me really fast. Yep, he's nipping. OK. But I think it's playful, but he's it nipping. It is, it is, mm -hmm. OK. Okay. A little mouthy. He's young. Yeah, huh? yeah. Marbles jumped at Luke. It looked like to us that he was maybe trying to grab him, but not in an aggressive way. So it's the running pass, the running. I want to see if it's it's a child thing or if it's actually a like, prey drive at chasing something, like the chase, the thrill yeah. of the chase. I said, you know, he's got a little bit of prey drive going on here. He really focuses in when Luke's running around. I can try and I can, if you want to hold him, I can run. OK. Just let him go and see what, see what he does. Okay, drop the leash. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to see how far Marbles would take it, and that's when I asked M2 to be the crash dummy. Okay. I mean, he's focused on you though. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, he's bite. He's he's definitely bite. Ooh, he's biting. Yeah. Okay. Not hard. Totally playful, okay. but yeah. it's intense. Okay. So it's not, a, it's not a child thing. No, it's, it's a, just it's the yeah. fill of the trace. Mm -hmm. It's just it's play, but it's not going to be desirable to somebody with small no, children. No, yeah, no. His prey drive was not against kids. It was just anybody running, <laughs> because he did the same with Mariah. That actually makes me feel better. 